race in CD6, the congressional race, has been heating up of late. At the filing deadline, you know, the uh, past Republican candidate, Neil Perot, entered the race. But it's April Delaney, whose husband, John Delaney, who formerly represented the congressional district, has begun running television ads. And now the former mayor of Chevy Chase, Joel Rubin, running as a Democrat, has dropped out. You know, what a whirlwind, Lori, in the past two weeks. What do you make of it? Well, first of all, it's Neil Parrott, not Neil okay. Perot. I was going to say, you're making him sound fancier <laughs> than he is. Um, yeah. And I think... <laughs> I guess he didn't get my vote. <laughs> well, you know what? Neil Neil is an excellent candidate, and he really almost won against a uh, mega dollars of, of Trone uh, last time around. <laughs> So I think he stands an excellent chance uh, of winning the primary. Uh, Tom Royals is also uh, collecting a lot of, of funds. So he's a, a contender as well. We have we have a number of great people running who are all, I think all of them are excellent, would be excellent in, in, in the Congress. Um, so, you know, but April, um, she's got a lot, you know, I think people generally liked it when John Delaney was in office. Uh, he was a pretty moderate Democrat, and people are probably thinking that his wife will be the same. And I'm not sure. I have no idea um, what she thinks. We can't always assume she would vote the same way as as John Delaney. So, so Mara, say you know when I looked at the the most recent um, statistics on fundraising, what what stood out to me was just how much money uh, Miss Mrs. Del April Delaney has raised from outside sources almost six hundred thousand dollars and in some instances as much as you know some of the other candidates combined so does does this give her the tactical advantage without having to drop her own dough into the race uh, first first of all i mean you know i think it's you know it's international women's day i think it's, it's great to see a woman uh, you know, leading in terms of the fundraising. I think that's great. We haven't even seen her use any of her own money yet. So 600,000, I think definitely gives her an advantage and it shows because she's the first to go on TV. Um, and then just, and I think um, going back to what Lori said, I completely agree. I think she is uh, positioning herself to be kind of on the middle of the road going out, you know, kind of um, um, being able to go off of uh, John. So, so uh, her, her husband's legacy, I think it's a smart one. I think, I think it's a smart one. Now, you know, is it fair? I don't know that it's fair uh, just to be able to use a last name, but unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, voters, you know, are just for different reasons are just not really fully aware of the options that they have in any election. And so Delaney, it rings a bell. Okay. I'll go ahead and, and vote for that, you know, but looking at the at the at the folks that she has lined up as endorsers, you know, they, they tend to be kind of on the middle of the road Democrats. Um, and, you know, some of them being um, um, Western Marylander, I guess, Mr. Perini, uh, uh, Hagerstown City uh, City Council member uh, Peter Perini. I think that that's impressive. Um, and I think she's, you know, she thinks she's doing she's doing well in that in, in that regard. Well, uh, one, one of the weaknesses that uh, Delaney, the Delaney's have is that they never lived in the district. And I mean, I, I you know, I, my father in law was a member of Congress for 36 years. He got gerrymandered every 10 years and he moved every 10 years to stay in the district because he thought it was that important. Wow. That's um, impressive. Yeah. And, well, at some cost, too, uh, I, I, that, I, I, I might add that, that happened um, to me. That happened to me, too. When I when I ran for office, I had already filed six months prior. This was since census, census 2020. Remember the whole debacle with the new yeah. uh, redistricting. My home is in is in Sherwood, and they uh, made a boundary on the new, on the district that I had already represented in the, legislatively. Two, I was two blocks away, um, and even and even still, there was a whole thread about me. Oh, this carpet bagger! How can I be a carpet bagger living in, in the county? I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, I, I, I got to say, I mean, Neil Parrott had yeah. represented um, uh, this district at, in the legislature. So yes. he does have name recognition. So that's an advantage that he has. He's, He's an engineer. He's been a civil engineer. He's run twice before. So I think it's going to be a, a very interesting race when, it, when all is said and done.